Hi there, I've got an ask an expert question to answer. And this question has come in from a parent whose son has started daycare. Um, in the email it said just yesterday. And this little boy is 18 months old. He has trouble eating, the parent says, and doesn't manage solids well. And this is something that they've had experience with, with his older brother who also didn't manage solids well, solids well when he was younger. Um, Mum and dad at home are speeding, spoon feeding him mashed, things like mashed rice and lentils and veggies um, and pureed meat um, and he doesn't seem to tolerate any solid foods um, well at all and he might be um, coughing a little bit with that so they've really just stayed with those easier to manage consistencies. Now at daycare he's starting to eat things like, what was it? Um, cake and biscuits, so he's th putting things like cake and biscuits in his mouth um, and then spitting them out again. And the parent's asking what can they do to help him progress to more solid foods and more challenging textures. Um, knowing that he's 18 months old, what we know is that our kids at this stage should be really becoming a lot more independent with their eating. And so the fact that he is picking foods up, more solid foods, putting them in his mouth, even though he's still spitting them out right now, is actually a really good sign that he's wanting to develop that independence. Um, but his transition to solid foods, his transition to more challenging foods has obviously, obviously been delayed because he is 18 months old and he's still not able to tolerate much more than um, puree on a regular basis. So, you know, some of the things, I guess there's more questions I have than answers for this, but some of the things I'd be wanting you to think about um, if you're that parent is um, what sort of foods is he maybe showing an interest in at home? Um, and even though you might be seeing a cough or maybe a gag or things like that, are there things that he, you know, you can help him to be a little bit more independent with? Even with the spoon feeding, you know, what happens if you give him the spoon and support him to start learning to self-feed, um, letting him get a little bit messy with food? Um, these are all the things that are going to help push him towards um, or support him towards being able to tolerate more solid foods. Um, sometimes there, there are different types of um, solids. So, for example, some solids are more uh, uh, easy for kids to begin to learn about than others. So um, some foods that will um, just, you know, if you think about foods that you pop in in your mouth um, and they would automatically squish in the roof of the mouth, they might be easier for him to manage um, in these early stages where he's just learning how to, how to eat more solid foods. And there might be things like um, really soft, uh, potato or pumpkin that has been either steamed or boiled or soft fruits, um, really soft banana, really soft avocado. Um, the other thing that I'd recommend is that if you're really struggling with those things, if this has been a real struggle the whole way through and you're really feeling like you need support, then definitely go and seek some support um, from somebody who has feeding experience, uh, who can help you, um, trans help you transition your child to more uh, challenging foods. And you know, there's a few therapies who might be able to help you with. But with that, obviously an accredited practicing dietitian who has experience with pediatrics, also um, speech pathologist who has experience with feeding and sometimes OTs who have experience with feeding, so occupational therapists as well. So I hope that's been a help to you. Um, definitely when your child's at daycare, if he is showing more um, signs of uh, wanting to explore foods there, that's a really great sign. So really um, do encourage the, the daycare carers there to do as much as they can, as well as you supporting him at home. Um, and I hope uh, everything goes well. Okay, bye.